Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival. We are taking off right where we left off from last episode, and I've got some big plans for this episode. But first, uh, let's address a few things, some comments that I saw for the last time, and let's just kind of establish so that we're all on the same page. I keep seeing a lot of people telling me to block with the hammer because you can block with the hammer. But actually, they changed that. If I right click while I'm holding the hammer, we do not get a blocking animation. So you can do that in the previous version of the game, but it seems like that is not a thing that we can do in this game. Also, I'm still getting comments about sleeping in the bed at nighttime. Uh, I established in the previous video that sleeping in the bed doesn't, uh, it doesn't cycle through the night any quicker. You just set a respawn point. That's all the beds seem to do so far. Another thing is I th was thinking that the countdown, the numbers that we see above these plants, I thought that that was the uh, time until the plants are done growing, but that is actually the time until you get attacked. So now I know that when I see the scary red numbers here, that means that a raid is incoming. However, I've heard that there sometimes can be a raid without those numbers even appearing. So you could still get raided either way. And I've learned that the raid always happens around midnight. So that is also useful information. Another thing is uh, people were saying, why don't I put my soil on something elevated or like something a little bit more defensible? Uh, the soil can only go on ground. You can't put soil on anything other than the terrain ground itself. So we can't go and build like patio or something and then drop some soil down on that, unfortunately. And I've also learned that if uh, if you have more than nine plots of soil, then that is when the farm bots will attack. But if you have nine or less, then you can actually plant without any raids happening. Apparently, I have not confirmed this myself. I have just heard these things. So that is useful information that I will use going forward. It is just about midnight here. So I'm going to go ahead and hang out and you can see them coming right now. Here they come through the woods. So you know what, let's, um, I'm afraid that they're gonna come from this direction too, but let's start. Yeah, here we go, it is now midnight. Yeah, they're ignore I don't like that they ignore me and go for the crops themselves. I wish that I would be the priority over my crops if I'm in the area, because that means if there's like five of them, uh, I, th it's gonna be hard to get all of them before they get to my crops. So is that all I'm gonna have to deal with is just those two? That's the one thing I don't know yet is waves. Are there more than one wave that can appear? Or is it just once one group attacks, is that it? I don't know that yet. So I kind of feel like it's after midnight. I just defended my crops. I think I might be safe now. So here's the plan for this episode going forward. Uh, we left off, I said I wanted to build a scavenging vehicle. So that is a, kind of still exactly what I want to do. But what I also want to do is m find a place that is more suited to farm. Because the issue with this farm is it is, it's nice near the water, it is near the mechanic shop, but the issue is that it is open on all sides. If we could actually find a structure like this that is relatively close to water, but also has, oh, hello cow, but also has a couple of walls near it uh, and ground as well. So basically we can have an indestructible wall or two, preferably, I'd like to find like a corner, you know? two walls that uh, is indestructible so we don't have to build all the way around our farm in order to protect it so that ah no what are they coming after my or, like i know that they're going after the cow but the cow's leading them right to my crops what is with this okay someone told me that if i just back okay i'm gonna die i'm actually gonna die hold on Someone told me in the comments that if I just back up and swing my hammer, I'll be safe from these guys. But that, uh, that is not true. There we go. I think, I think timing the jump is the way to do it, to be honest. All right, are they, are you going after the cow still too? That cow is having a terrible time. He said three different farm bots come after him. All right, well, I'm going to harvest these legs and, uh, then we're going to go ahead and look at what materials we need to build our ultimate scat, not ultimate, but a starter decent scavenging vehicle. Okay, so one of the big things I want for this scavenging vehicle is I want an actual drill because apparently we can get metal by itself from rocks, the rock formations. And that's gonna make crafting higher tier metal much easier. And we won't have to keep crafting this metal out of the scrap metal that we're getting because we need scrap metal for other things too. So yeah, in order to get this kind of metal, we need embers. So uh, we can go back to our starting area for that. 
So what I want to do is take this chest and actually put it on this vehicle. So now I can carry a bunch of materials with me, but oh, you know what else I need? I need smaller chests. So to make smaller chests, we need glue. Do I have glue in here? No, I used, I used all of my glue. So really quick, uh, let's go out to the ocean. Right, oh, check on my crops too. <gasps> okay, so we're gonna get raided. We're, but if I harvest all these crops, then we shouldn't get raided, right? Because we'll have all of the crops. So they won't have anything to raid. But I mean, I should plant another harvest. All right, though, man, these potatoes, these potatoes take a really long time. Actually, all of this stuff, never mind, all, none of it's ready to be harvested. Okay, oh, there's a farm bot head floating here. All right, so I'm gonna go uh, hopefully find a lot of clams. Oh, here we go. I think these things respawn. Oh, that's good if these respawn, because I'm pretty sure I went out here to harvest this stuff already. But we need a bunch of these glue things. Oh, <gasps> guys, guys, look what I found. I got a glow bug. I don't know what to do with it, but I got, uh, oh, oh, no, um, oh, okay, uh, I can't, well, I can take them with me. I can just keep dropping them when I get to the clams. All right, let's not drop, oh, I go so much slower with them. All right, I'm just gonna get these clams. I'm gonna leave the glow bug, uh, the glow bug. I'm gonna leave the glow bug right there for now. <gasps> we got a glow, there's another one. Oh, okay, there's a punch over here. All right, glow bug, they're just in the water. Whoa, guys, there's like a, is that a cave or just like a crater? Oh, I want to go down here. This looks really cool. You know what, I, I haven't actually, now that I think about it, I haven't seen caves. Oh, this is a cave. This is so cool. This is my first time really exploring underwater. I haven't spent, I haven't really gone away from the shore yet. And this is awesome. We're finding all kinds of cool stuff. And there's like a small little inlet, an underwater like cave down here. I wouldn't call it. I don't think it's a cave cave. Well, actually, I haven't been down here, so maybe it is a cave cave. Whoa. Okay, this actually- Whoa! The, all right, it's a cave cave. Holy cow, there's a glow bug down here. I keep saying glow bug. Oh my goodness, it goes so deep! Oh, there's loot down there, too! I need breath! I so need breath right now! This is not how I die, please, no! Oh, okay, five at a time. I can survive this. I can survive this. All right, there we go. I'm also kind of running out of, uh, 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 thirst. I'm running out of thirst. No, that doesn't matter. I'm running, I'm getting dehydrated. <laughs> if you were out of thirst, you wouldn't have thirst, so you would not be thirsty. Therefore, you would live. But, whoa, look at all the glow bugs down here. There's so many down here. I don't know how to use them or harvest them. Ah, oh, um, oh man, there's so much. There's so much awesomeness in this cave. Okay, I wish I could carry more than one. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I'm so slow. I don't even know if it's worth it. This might not be worth it because I got the ones on the surface, so I go down here. But there's so many. How many do I need? And there's another one right there. Oh, this isn't worth it. This isn't worth it. I need to go faster. Running out of air. Running out of air. Do not want to die under here. Imagine having to retrieve all of my stuff underwater. Oh, no. Oh no, it's going fast. It's going fast. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay. Whew. All right, you know what? I'm getting thirsty. I'm going to start losing health soon. So let's get, there was a glow bug. There it is. I see it. So here, I grab you. The cows eat corn, but what does a glow bug eat? This is like slightly fast. Is it slightly faster? I don't even know. I can like do little short sprints. It might just be faster to do this though, because I have to keep stopping to pick it up. <laughs> I got cows here too. Can I like, should I build a pen around these cows and give them corn? I have corn in my car. I might, I have three cows right here. All right, you know what, you you go on the table. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I have a bunch of glue now. What could I make with glue? Why did I want the glue? I wanted small chests. Oh, let's make glue first. Glue, glue, glue. There we go. And then I can make a bunch of small chests. That'll be good. Here's a question. I can make a bed. What happens if I put a bed on my vehicle and then I get in the bed, use it as a spawn point, right? And then I die while I'm out with my vehicle. Will I just spawn right on my vehicle right there instead of going back to a base? Oh, I'm dying right now. Don't worry. I'll just respawn here anyway. All right. And then I've crafted all of the glue that I can. And that is pretty much it. So let's craft one of these. 
takes a minute. And while that's happening, we'll die. Um, also, also, we have cows right here. Uh, let me get some corn. Uh, before I die really quick, let's just do this. Look at that. He eats the corn. All right. Here's more corn. Eat all this corn. Eat as much as you need and tell me what, what you do. What do you do when you get full? How much does it take to fill you up? I have the chest now. Let's see what this chest is all about. Oh! <gasps> oh! <gasps> We have cow milk! Alright, what do I do with the cow milk? Can I just eat it? Oh, yes, let's see how much it does. Oh, lots of liquid, not a whole lot of hunger. We're, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna make a farm for these guys. I don't think that they need to be on grass. I'll do this, and can I just push them into there? Yeah, look at that. Look, no, 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 don't resist. Stop resisting. Stop. Resist. Oh. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. Can you like turn? I just want you to turn sideways. Here, 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 here. Take the corn. Now fall, fall in between. All right, I guess they're just it's too wide. There you go. No, 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 don't go out, don't go out, don't go out. You stay there. All right, can you get out of this? Yeah, he's trying to walk. <laughs> he's trying to walk away like the walk that he is. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will right, we'll open this for another cow. Here's me saying how I want to move places, and now suddenly I find myself making a, a farm, like a, a a cow stable. All right, here, get in. There you go. And here, you can go ahead and eat that. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Here, I will go ahead and take that. All right, we have another cow over here that apparently wants to help. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, 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 what? No, 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 what? How do you do that? Don't do that. Can they? Oh, they can walk up. Excuse me, cow, stop, stop resisting. Stop, you you came to my territory. If you want to be here. Oh my God, I don't have any corn. He's resisting so hard right now. Okay, all right, I'm going to stay in here. Oh, he's doing it again. Okay, you know what we need to do then? <laughs> we need to put a back barrier on these things, apparently. Because they can walk up the side of this uh, building. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? How did you get so far away? All right, I'm sorry. You're being unreasonable. We're going to have to resort to al al alternate methods. Oh, it actually works to herd. Whoa. It herds. As I moved, it runs away from where I am, so you can actually herd the cow. That is awesome. I did not- look at that, see? That is so cool. There's an actual herding mechanic in this game. I haven't seen these guys move or walk in any way, so I think he's gonna be okay here, right? But you know what, just in case, I have some fence pieces. We have 55 seconds before we get a raid. So I'm just gonna build a little bit of a fence right here. And now we have a little glow bug exhibit. All right, all right, all right. We got to get over here now. We got to get... No, this is supposed to be like full crops. This is like all my crops. I'm going to have a full harvest, dang it. A full harvest that is not interrupted by pesky bots. Oh, look, look, look. Let's just take it all now. Let's just... What are you going to attack now, huh? Yeah, now what are you going to attack? What are you here for? What are you here for? What do you want? I hear them. Here we go. It's time. There's one over there. There's one over here. Which one's closer? Which one's closer? There's three. There's three. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, that one's done. Come after me. Come after me. Yeah, you don't have any crops to go after. What are you... You're confused, huh? You got here and there's nothing... No scrumptious goodies. All right, this was a good day so far. This is one of my best days, my best 24 hour cycles in this game so far. Okay, so now what are we gonna plant? Um, I have carrots on me. Carrots are good for hunger. So let's just go ahead and plant all seven of these carrots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Potatoes, yeah, carrots and potatoes, let's do it. There we go, look at that. Carrots and potatoes. Now we need to water them. All right, it seems like potatoes are not for eating at all, actually. Which, um, I didn't know. I thought you could either eat them or use them as ammo, but it looks like they are purely ammo, which is interesting. Oh, I totally forgot I have this crate now. How many slots does this have? That is decent. That's really decent. So if I have a handful of these, 
on a, uh, there we go. I can craft two more. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to craft two more of these. We need more glue for other stuff, but I think that having these on a vehicle is going to be super, super helpful. All right, let's go feed our cows some more. Hello. So what happens if I do this? Can you eat that? Look at that. Here. Look, just eat. Everybody eat. Oops, I don't know if you can eat that. You know, it's actually easier just to put it down here. Yeah, everybody eat some. They're giving me so much. Look at this. Excuse me. This is so good. We have a little farm. <laughs> All right, well, thirst isn't going to be an issue. I still want to find what the best food is. Probably the cook bot, obviously. And look at that. Now we got three chests on this vehicle. This is so awesome. Definitely want to uh, have a better defenses for this because this wall is so weak right now. And I guess the best thing I could do is layer it up with the scrap wood I got, but scrap wood is really weak. Not the best on durability. Wow, scrap stone is the same durability as scrap wood? That's not what I would expect. Regular wood has one more durability. So I don't know what we want to do for this quite yet, but I'm just going to go ahead and put this light right here and it's daytime. So we're really not going to be able to see how effective it is at all. <laughs> It looks like it's not going to do anything to the ones right below it. What if I put it like right here? I don't know. It's going to be something. All right. It's 10 a.m. Let's go out and explore a little bit. Ooh, these are actually pretty heavy, it seems like. You know what I should do? I should put one of these on the front. Does it give me... What is the weight? What is the weight on this? Oh, look at that weight. That is a huge amount of weight. All right. Then we're putting some of these on the front. So I need the burn cinders. So here's an idea. I have some component parts. I'm gonna upgrade this engine for the first time. This takes four pieces to upgrade, so let's just do it. It's gonna be more efficient on fuel as well, and we can connect two more bearings up so we are now all-wheel drive. So with that, what is the next level? Another two bearings, another efficiency, and two levels of speed. So how does this feel on this current speed? Listen to it. It's a new sound. Oh man, we are so fast and we're all wheel drive now. This is too much. This is too much. Look at this. This is amazing. I need to make a wider vehicle now. Oh my goodness, this is so awesome. All right, well, at least we can uh, we can get around in no time now. This is incredible. Oh, we can get so much wood from here. I'm gonna do it. No, 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 I'm not gonna do it. We can, we can come up here anytime. Let's just head, we need the burned embers right now. It's uh, one o'clock. Oh man, this is hard to control. <laughs> so I just, oh no. All right, that's fine. That's fine. You know what I'm really happy about? I'm really happy that stuff doesn't fall out of our vehicle because that would be very unfortunate. All right, are there any more hay bots? Do hay bots respawn at these factory places? Because first time I came here, there was like three hay bots right out here and it doesn't look like they're here anymore. So I don't know what to think about that. And there was also some bots here in this area, but doesn't look like they're here anymore. So let's see if we can get some burned embers. Does this count? Do you think this counts right here? Yes. Yes. Oh, and cool. We don't even have to um, refine them. You just pick them up. This is going to be so much easier than I thought. I thought we were going to have to refine it like the, uh, like the wood. Oh. Thank you. Oh, yeah, look at this one. This one should get us a good amount. Okay, it seems like two is kind of the standard. Never mind. Oh, that one had four. We're doing better and better. Whoa, how did I miss this? Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I'm actually getting hungry. I should probably eat some of those carrots in a second. Let me chop down this tree first. Actually, while I'm chopping down the tree, I can look at my inventory. Did I not bring the food with me? I had the carrots, didn't I? Didn't I have carrots? I don't think I ate them. Did I? I may have put them in one of my chests, but at least I have these on me. All right, there's another tree here too. Oh, those do the same. Oh, that's so nice. It does more hunger. Oh, beets. I might want beets. My inventory's full. Okay, Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat the rest of these beets then, and then I'll be able to have a whole new inventory slot, and then we can just go back to our vehicle and drop off whatever we need. But I just want to pick these up in the meantime. Uh, so it looks like there's 10 per stack of ember wood. And I wonder if this stuff like respawns. It wouldn't make sense. Like burnt trees shouldn't go back, grow back. They're kind of dead, but you kind of never know. I'm just double checking that I didn't miss anything. I'm trying to pick up 
whatever I can from inside here. But none of this stuff is accessible just yet. Oh, there's a wheel. Oh, my inventory is full. I totally forgot about that too. But it looks like I got everything else. I just have that janky wheel. So I don't really want that. All right, let's head back to our vehicle. Oh, okay, here's my carrots. I found my carrots. We're good now. You know what we really need? We need to sort inventory items so that all the items go from like category, like building blocks to consumables and they all stay next to each other because everything, like all these building blocks are so spread out and everything. This would be super useful. All right, we're heading back now. Uh, I don't see any more burned trees. We have like 30 something ember, I think. So that should be good enough for a drill, maybe even two. I forget what the other material is, but I think we already have it. So let's hurry up back and get ready to defend our farm again. I hope it's not going to be a lot of bots. All right, we made it back super fast, actually. Like, really, really fast. All right, I was working on some stuff in the shop, but it is almost time for the attack. We got to get over here in eight seconds, so let's hurry up. Please don't be a bigger attack. Here it comes. All right, there's some over there. There's some over there. Oh, it's a bigger attack. It's a bigger attack. This is bad. This is going to be bad. Ow. He only did 20 to me? They almost always do 30. All right. Are they on me? They're on me. They're on me. Yes, come after me. Come after me. Yes, they're coming after me. That's good. It happened before where even though I was, in, I was present, they were just going after the crops before. All right, this is good. And I also need more of this, which is excellent. So this is actually getting attacked is good. I was thinking about making a nine crop uh, plot so I didn't get attacked, but we want to harvest farm bots too. All right, look at what we got here. Yeah, yeah, look at this. We're actually getting some harvests. Okay, so what I want next is beets and carrots are gonna be what I'm gonna grow right now because um, we have milk for thirst. And I think beets and carrots are good for hunger. I just don't know which is better. So what I've done over here is in here, I've put all of my ma consumable materials that I think are good for the craft bot because now I can do, I think I can do this. Check this out. I put this right like that. And now, so see, I have, I have a whole bunch of crude oil. So now if I go here, look, 36 crude oil and none of that is in my inventory. So this is essentially, oh, that's upside down. Hold on, let me make this look better. That's upside down again. There we go. That looks better. So now all the stuff that I put in here actually applies to this as the inventory. So anytime I have like circuits or whatever, I can put that in there. So right now I have 33 circuits. So if I want to create probably something technological like this or no, nope, uh, like uh, this, there we go. 43 circuits. Wait, there's 43. Well, one, two, three, four. Yeah, there we go. 43 circuits. But what I want to create is one of these. So I need 30 metal and 20 of metal level two. So to get 30 metal, I have none left of this. Oh, I have none in here. So I need to I need to start loading this up with scrap metal and metal. I need to put all those materials in there. And yeah, we are we, we just we just need a lot of metal. Oh, <gasps> cardboard. I think cardboard is what the glow plug is. I am not going to it's it's officially called a glow plug now. That's just that's just going to be the official name. I think they eat cardboard. So imagine if I built the uh, cage out of cardboard. <laughs> and he just like got out. Okay, I don't know why that just popped into my memory that these things eat cardboard. Let's find out if I'm right. Oh, he just ate it immediately. Look at that. Look at that. He eats cardboard. That's amazing. This is awesome. And cardboard is so easy to make. What are you going to give me? What are you going to give me? Arthur unauthorized farming. All right, so we have a raid in 19 hours. That's fine. This is such, this is so encouraging. Last time I was feeling really discouraged, like everything was taking so long to make progress, but so much new stuff has happened. So you know what? Here, here, eat all the cardboard you want. I don't think he can go three high. It looks like he might not be able to go three high. We're gonna box you in with cardboard. You can have so much cardboard, little guy. You All the cardboard is for you. I will just keep giving you, oh, I'm out of cardboard. Okay, you got all my cardboard. That's all my cardboard. I'll check back and see what you've given me. Um, let's go ahead and take the rest of my corn. Now I know why I want corn. Here you go. My cows need names. Can you please help me name the cows? Let me know down in the comments. I'll pick some names and uh, we'll name them in the next episode. Or maybe not the next episode. I've been pre-recording some of these episodes. So the comments that I'm reading are sometimes from two episodes ago instead of just the last episode. So they ate those pretty fast, didn't they? Oh, 
Glow bug has given me glow. Okay, let's see here. Glow. I'm assuming that this is a material. I'm going to put it in here and let's see what do we need? What takes glow? Ah, here we go. Here we go. Explosives take glow and glow sticks. Uh, obviously glow sticks take glow. Oh yeah, my burned embers. All this stuff needs to go in here in my materials thing. Burned embers, burned embers, burned embers, burned embers. So now we'll collect these. I'm going to craft metal block two times 10. And that's all I can do is that just once. And I think that's all the consumable materials. I want wood on me just in case I need to build like a tower or something. So now for this drill, how much are we? We're halfway there pretty much. Living on a, on a prayer. Oh, he gave me some more. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I have to. I have to craft some more cardboard. We have to give him. I'm going to give him a whole nother stack of cardboard. All right. You ready for some dinner? Here you go. So now the question is, if I leave him here and he drops some of the glow, like, oh, right now, and then I leave it for a really long time, do you think it's just going to despawn? I don't know if uh, that stuff would despawn. All right, there you go. That's all the uh, that's all the cardboard I have. He can start eating that. Now let's go plant. Um, wait, I don't need. I'm gonna just put this on the wall, and I'll put the other ones on the wall too. There we go. He already given me some glow. He's glowing. He is absolutely glowing. Back over here, it looks like our potatoes have actually finally uh, sprouted. So let's go and we'll pick these up. What is that? Why is that so far behind? Oh, I didn't water it. I missed it with the water. That's probably what happened. So I got a bunch of potatoes and potato seeds. So now let's plant one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have 18 here. I feel like that might be a lot and attract a lot of attention, especially two nights in a row. But let's go ahead and start watering. Whoa, wait, no, no, don't tell me. I have another cow. He just... He just came here. I didn't ask him to come here. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I'll we'll open this up for him. Okay. We're going this way. All right. You know, I'm going to try to hurt him legitimately now. Ready? All right, so I'm going to go out beeswax hunting, um, and I'm going to actually stay out for the night. It's going to be risky, I know. Ooh, corn. We got corn. Oh, hey, bot. Hey, bot. No! I, it, uh, the speed is so slow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's two of them. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm stuck in ragdoll. I am stuck in ragdoll. I can't do anything right now. I just... I'm going to die out here. I literally can't do anything. There we go. Run, 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 run. Um, please don't go after my vehicle. That'd be very bad. I'm gonna have to use water. I'm resorting to the water tactic. Oh, one more hit and I'm dead. One more hit and I'm dead. Ah! Uh, one more hit and I'm dead. One more hit and he's dead. Nope, not. No! No! Please leave my vehicle alone. Please leave my vehicle alone. At the very least, I can see where it is. I've never died that far away from home. It's not that far, but that's concerning. Please leave my vehicle alone. What happens if they destroy a chest that has a bunch of stuff in it? Does all the stuff go away? That's not something I want to find out anytime soon. And it's getting dark and I'm, I'm close enough to my farm that I think they could attack, even if I'm over here. So this is not, this is not a good time right now. This is not a good time. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 we got these guys. <gasps> we got these guys right here. Oh my goodness, I drove right by them and didn't even see them. All right, I gotta remember that direction. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna, um, I, I can roll them back. <gasps> I see them attacking things. No, not my vehicle, not my, oh, they're still going after the cow. They're still going after the cow. Oh, they retain their damage. They each took one hit, that's excellent. Okay. All right. Is my vehicle okay? Is my vehicle okay? My vehicle looks completely okay. I cannot believe I failed so hard right there. Okay. Now, what was I doing here? Oh yeah. Corn. Corn is what I was doing here. All right. We're going to get all this corn and then we're going to go check out those farmers and see if we can get some of them back. Um, and then we'll keep them 
because we need to bring them eventually. We need to bring them to the trading station because the trading station had that cage symbol on it. Oh yeah, one of my biggest complaints about the game right now is um, the nighttime is way too dark. It is too hard to see. And if there was a handheld flashlight, this would be fine. Otherwise, just let me see, you know? All right, we got two hours before the attack happens. So up here near the station, where is it? It is up here somewhere. And I like how it's downhill to the mechanic station. Here it is, here it is, look at this. Look at this. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna back up. We're gonna face towards the mechanic station. Oh, we got some cotton right there too. And I'm gonna hit these guys because they roll when you hit them with a hammer as you saw from the last episode. So I'm going to go ahead and roll these guys towards my vehicle and then hopefully down the hill towards the mechanic station. Don't worry, you'll be fine. You just head that way. All right, one hour left. What, two minutes left until uh, the attack happens. I hope I don't lose that guy. <laughs> I wonder if I'll be able to actually, like, take him back the way with what I have right now. All right, where are you guys? I hit you this way somewhere. Somewhere over here. Are you guys still rolling? There you go. Look at them. They're both right here. All right, look at this. <laughs> this is awesome. This is cool. All right, let me bring- See, I got out of my vehicle while it was moving, and I didn't go flying out that time. I don't know what the deal is. All right, will they just stay here, like, for good? Or will they- Do you think they'll respawn or something? I don't know. Yeah, you guys hang out here. I'll eventually- I'll figure out how to get you guys to the trading station at some point. I can't afford to craft controllers to make a mechanism to carry them right now. Last time, we had one farm bot and three greenies? I don't know if that's the case. What are we gonna have now? Here's some greenies coming. There's a farm bot. There's the farm bot. Oh, four greenies, at least. Yeah, jumping, jumping's the way to go for these guys. No, 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 come after me, come after me, come after me. Here we go. This is going good, this is really good. Four greenies and a farm bot. I think that might actually be the same as last time. That went fantastic. I am very happy with how that went. We can deal with this. We can deal with this on a regular basis. Okay, can I craft a bed right now? Because I want to do the bed on the vehicle experiment. <gasps> I can craft a bed right now. That's not bad. Let's do it. A minute left. Can I survive a minute? Put the bed on my vehicle. <laughs> They're not going to call it a flatbed pickup for nothing in this case. I'm sorry. And then we're gonna see if when I die, if I spawn on my vehicle, cause that would be amazing. All right, the bed has been crafted. How big is the bed? That's a decent size. Does it fit in my bed? Come on, there we go. Look, it is perfect. This is like actually perfect. Well, actually, no, it's not perfect. There's one block over on the side there. So now I have slept in the bed. So I'm gonna go back in this direction away from the base a little bit and see what it's like to die. And uh, if we spawn right here on our car, that'll be amazing for taking risks when we're out traveling with our vehicle. All right, we're finally dying. Whoa. You can't drive. You can't drive when you're getting hurt. Look at this, I can't even drive around right now. Every single time I take damage, it kicks me out of the seat. That's interesting. If this works, guys, what this means is food might not be an issue for us. If we can time our traveling right so that we can just be in a safe spot to die with our vehicle and our bed on us, then we don't have to worry about getting spawned all the way back. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Dude, this is, this is a life hack right here. This is such a life hack. Now if I die, anytime I'm out exploring with this vehicle, I, I'm, I just spawn right where I died. I can pick up my stuff right there and continue from where I left off. This is such a hack. Oh wait, I totally forgot. Wait, 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 what? Hold on. I forgot about my stuff. Why is my stuff over here? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, my stuff isn't on me, but my bag, Oh, it rolls. The bag rolls away. I almost forgot to pick up my stuff. I can't believe I did that. I was like, I got thrown off by the fact that I was right where I was in the first place that I forgot that my stuff wasn't on me anymore. So bags roll away. That's something to keep in mind if I'm gonna be 
dying out in the wilderness. All right, so life hacks we've learned so far. Carry a toilet with you so you can do uh, parkour, tele teleparkour, and climb things easier. And put your bed on your vehicle. All right, let's find some beeswax, please. Yes, these rocks are such a good area. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not going that fast. What causes that? All right, so here, here's a great way for to use the toilet hack. Ready? Boop. And now I can go ahead and hit this and pick up the beeswax. And you know what? Let's see. Is there anything on top? Whoa! I actually, I did not expect that. I wonder, can we like set, can we make a fire? I don't know how you would. We don't have any materials yet. Any more beeswax on this? Nope. All right, I'm feeling good. Feeling good about uh, our strategy right now. So yeah, if you're not carrying a toilet with you in survival mode, what, what, honestly ask yourself, what are you doing with your life? This is, this is such a good strategy to get this big, this beeswax. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put all my beeswax that I got so far in here. Look at that, we got 32 beeswax so far. That's excellent. And now I'm gonna go and harvest this for parts. We actually want a lot of these parts. We're gonna reinforce our base with these walls. Or not our base, but our uh, farm with these walls. We have a decent amount of time. How much time? Nine hours left. So let's do this. Oh, look at all of this material. So good. Or should I say, so wood. Actually, I just noticed the durability is one on these things. Really? Hey, what's the durability of this? Oh, we need these. We need to surround our uh, farm with vending machines. I'm dying of thirst. Whoa, look at the durability of these things. I know why the car in the trailer had those things on them now. They're so durable. All right, I need to harvest those. I need to really pay attention to durabilities. All right, we're just gonna harvest all the important stuff from here. What about beds? What's the durability of a bed? Maybe there's another use for it. Durability is very bad on the bed. I'll just let you despawn. All right, here we go. Our first real world application of uh, the bed hack. Let's see how it works. I'm gonna die any second now. Dead, respawn, look at that. Pick up all of our gear and we are back at it. All right, so I picked up some new stuff. What about the sign? Sign has very bad durability. We'll drop that. Actually, sign has light. We'll use that as a light. That's what's good. Okay, okay. You know what? I'm gonna take some of these lights too. All right, it's time to defend. Once again, we got another raid coming in. 20 seconds. Let me actually light the place up a little bit. There we go. Oh, my my chest in the front there isn't actually doing me many favors, is it? You know, I want to take this too. All right, eight seconds. Let's see how it goes. So, oh, this is another, this is a bigger wave. This is an actual, this is a legitimately bigger wave. Ow, don't die. Don't attack my vehicle. Don't attack my vehicle. Where's my vehicle? There's my vehicle. All right, they're all going after me. I'm okay with this. That went okay. No, no. Oh, <gasps> no way. No way. Are you kidding me? What was with the vehicle? Why? All right, I'm not bringing my vehicle out here anymore. I cannot believe that. He broke the locker. I don't even have a weld tool. Oh, all right, where's the engine? The seat. He broke the seat. Oh, no. I am so, I'm so disappointed at that. I am very, very, very disappointed at that. That is, all right, I'm not. I'm not farming. Um, um, well, I kind of want, I kind of want the loot from the bots. You know what? We, we got to do it. We got to keep with the farming because I need this material right here. But that, oh, that made me very angry. We were having such a good time and that ruined it all. It's just, all of it's not good anymore. Okay. Well, look at this. Look at this is great. This is kind of good. I like this. That's very nice. All right. So I have some more stuff here. So I got... Here, let's see how this works. Eh, it works. Man, I cannot believe that that just happened. So I have a whole bunch of wood, so I'm just gonna add another layer or a couple layers to this. All right, check out what I've done here. I've uh, added a bunch of these scrap things all around the outside. And now in addition to that, I'm just gonna add another full layer of wood all the way around, at least. 
and I'm never bringing my car over here ever again during a raid. That's the plan, okay? All right, so check it out. We're gonna put this, uh, this fresh sign right here indicating some fresh food that'll also cast some light down there. I think, did I have another fresh sign? I could have sworn I got two signs. And now we're gonna have a lot more light in here and a lot more protection. I'm actually gonna put another layer around at least because look at how much we harvested from those shacks. I just hope that they can't, I just hope that the hay bots, I don't know what their jumping capabilities are like. I don't know if they can jump over these or not. All right, so hold on. Let me, let me bring my, the pieces of my vehicle we're gonna bring back. And uh, I have learned that this vehicle is not ideal. So we may, we may need to do some harvesting. And you know what? I said I was gonna build a new exploration vehicle. Maybe this is, maybe this is the time. Although I need the materials for it first. So you know what? I'm gonna build a new vehicle, but I'm gonna do that next time. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future episodes because we are going to be building a brand new vehicle. So if you guys weren't aware already, in celebration of survival, I'm doing a 10% discount on the entire Scrapman merch store. If you want a push button to see what happens shirt, if you want a Scrapman mug of your very own to put various kinds of liquids in and then transfer that to your mouth very easily. If you use code survival, you will get 10% off anything you want on the store only until survival releases on May 7th. So uh, you have a limited amount of time to take advantage of that. If you want to follow the whole series from beginning to end in order, then go ahead and check out this playlist on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription if you're not already subscribed. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.